Good afternoon, guys. Uh, Natalia and team, thanks for having me in today. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about Oracle's private cloud, or what we term our platform as a service. Uh, what I'd like to do today, um, the premise of this meeting when I was speaking with Natalia, is we're going to talk about and gain a common understanding of platform as a service. And then what we're going to try to do is align what Oracle's doing uh, in developing this platform as a service and what Abbott's goals are in you know, increasing margins and uh, reeling in some of your LOBs uh, to make sure that they're standardized, et cetera, and how those pieces fit together and how we can kind of find some common ground and hopefully some ways we can uh, work together. So first I'd like to validate some challenges that your organization currently has. You know, I've been sitting and working with you guys for over a year now, uh, and I've tried to pick out a couple major ones that I've noticed and would love your feedback as well. But uh, first you're dealing with growth of application sprawl. So you know, since the divestiture of AppV, you guys have a number of lines of business that are running outside of the GIS uh, environment currently. And so, and that's not only on a national basis, but an international basis. So that's, that's a challenge, am I right? Okay. Uh, you also have, uh, you know, in addition to that, you have IT alternatives. So not only are they developing on Oracle, but they're also looking at different cloud providers. They're looking at solutions that you guys haven't set governance or compliance uh, right, you know, guidelines for it. So that's a major issue from a compliance standpoint. And then finally, like I mentioned before, uh, I've heard the charter from you know Nancy Burst that you guys are looking to decrease costs to about fifty million dollars over the next three years. And so uh, you're continuing to get pressure from investors on you know looking at margins and increasing margins, increasing revenue because you no longer have Humira uh, from AV to to kind of bring in that those uh, revenues. So are there any other challenges you'd like to discuss? All right, perfect. Well. We're going to go through that, and then uh, I'd like to develop some next steps that uh, we will, we'll, if you like what you see today, we'll, we'll go in and make sure that we continue this discussion. Okay? So, <clears throat> Oracle uh, Platform as a Service, key capabilities. So, what, it, what is Platform as a Service? I'm sure you've had other vendors come in here and talk about what their offering is. So, what Oracle is offering, we provide a standard shared platform. Okay? We provide an environment that you know, you guys have GIS, which is somewhat standardized, but you still have divisions that are using some tools and not others, and there's a lot of uh, differences out there that I've noticed. And so by providing a private cloud, you do get standardization. You also can provide a service catalog where you can control those options that you're offering. You know, the high, ability, uh, high availability option has rack, the, um, you know, the security, uh, the applications that need more security can have things like advanced security or data mask and things like that. The private cloud also provides elasticity. So elasticity, you know, obviously, as you grow or shrink, the private cloud enables you to change your environment along with those growths or shrink. Along with that flexibility. So one thing I do notice in you know, talking to a lot of people on your team, obviously, you just went through a major divestiture. Uh, with that said, you're going to continue to acquire companies. And so having a private cloud that makes it easier as you acquire other organizations to integrate them into that platform is going to give you a lot of flexibility. And then up here, we want to make sure that you guys have some security standards. You know, I hear about audits that you're having on a regular basis, and you're having a hard time showing how you're meeting those audit requirements. And so by having this private cloud, you have a controlled environment, and you have controls that show how you're compliant uh, and you know, following certain governance rules. So these are the key capabilities of the platform as a service. Uh, next, you know, we want to talk a little bit about what you're going to do with your new environments, okay? So I understand you're standardized on SAP and you're rolling it out, but you're going to continue to find, whether by lines of business or by GIS, being proactive, new applications that you're going to want to deploy, okay? Right now, you guys have what I would term infrastructure as a service. You guys have your HP servers that you run VM on. So you have, you know, within GIS, you have infrastructure as a service. And again, we talked about those outliers, but GIS right now has infrastructure as a service. You also have a form of database as a service, which would be here, where you have, uh, for GIS, you have a consolidated platform on a VM cluster that you do run certain deep database tools, management packs, and whatnot. What you don't have right now is middleware as a service, okay? So 
middleware is run by the individual application, so each division has their own middleware platform. And I know that's something that you guys have looked into in the past, but what I'm trying to show you today is by enabling or by including middleware into your uh, shared services environment, you can now achieve what we're terming platform as a service right here. Okay, which gives you the shared standard platform, provides that service catalog not only on a database, but on an infrastructure and on a, a middleware perspective. And then it provides that elasticity and flexibility that you're really looking for to, to be a more agile organization. Okay, so that's what we're doing with new environments now. I know you have a lot of existing environments as well, right? A lot of them. <laughs> some you want to keep, some you don't. Uh, for those that you're looking to continue on that aren't legacy, um, right now you have a lot of siloed areas. You have vascular um, Temecula that is you know, running a number of applications that are specific to their business that are, even though you have the GIS database platform, they're not running it. You have diagnostics that it's doing the same thing. Um, what we're trying to move to and what we've talked about is getting to a true consolidated and standardized platform as a service. Okay, And then once you have that, that's where you can really come up and optimize it put in those security controls and be confident when you have auditors coming in that you're, they're able to follow your process and you don't have any legal concerns, okay? So this is a roadmap that we want to give you for your existing environments. The good news is that with platform as a service, you can do this at your own pace. I understand it's hard to implement changes into Abbott's organization, I get that. So we can start with applications that are either mission critical or are having changes and, and move them up, this, uh, up these steps to get them to that optimized, you know, Utopia. Um, all right, so by doing this with both your new environments and your existing iron environments, where your existing iron environments now get the shared platform and the service catalog, etc., we're enabling you to reduce your risk, okay? Increase your agility. We're giving you the agility to, with self-service. We're reducing your risk by uh, putting in those security standards and then lowering your cost, okay? Because obviously by getting the shared platform, uh, you're not having to have the DBAs at diagnostics. You're not having to have the, the servers, uh, administrators that are in vascular. Obviously, I know I understand not everyone likes to talk about headcount reduction, but you guys haven't, uh, haven't shied away from that in our previous conversation. So I understand this is a goal of yours, and by implementing this one environment, that's going to help do that. Okay. So what I'd like to talk about next are some customer examples where companies have implemented this previously and the re benefits they've realized from it. So G Healthcare, uh, by developing a private cloud, actually received 100% faster deployment. Uh, they decreased the time it took to deploy an application down to two months. I, I mean, I can't imagine if Abbott could reduce the time to deploy a new application to two months. That's, I'm sure it's, you would say that it probably takes you about a year or two to do that right now. Does that make, does that sound right? Okay, um, Merck, which is not as much of a competitor as now, but you still have some uh, joint uh, businesses that that are across or there that are our competitors of you. Excuse me. Uh, they received 159 percent our return on investment by deploying a private cloud. Uh, they received five million dollars of cost avoidance from de deploying this platform as a service, not having to buy you know, off-shooting sh storage, not having to buy the off-shooting licenses. Obviously, you can have higher capacity. You can run your database environments at a higher threshold if they're together rather than separated out, you know, on an international basis. And then we, there was another private organization, uh, Alpha Natural Resources, that actually met 99.95 of their SLSAs, which would, if Abbott was able to do that, I'm sure you would welcome that improvement. So, and we can get into more detail on these customer examples, and but potentially set up some reference calls uh, if that's something that you're interested in. So what I'd like to do, you know, obviously I, I think you can understand that this is something at, at the very least to continue investigating. This is where the market's going. This is, this is what the leaders in the industry, like the GE Healthcare's and the Mercs, are putting resources into. Uh, so I would like to set up, if you're okay with it, some next steps. I think the best next step initially is to set up a cloud workshop. We can bring somebody in that knows this stuff a lot better than I do uh, to talk about, one, your existing environment, the applications that it makes sense 
to, to do this for first off and also look at your roadmap to see if there are new applications you're working on that we might want to bring this into the picture with. Second, you guys are going to have to come out for another CVC. Um, this is definitely messaging that needs to get in front of your senior executives because they understand the big picture of what we're trying to do here. It's going to make your jobs a lot easier to deploy a solution like this. And obviously we have a lot of information on our website at oracle.com. So again, if you leave with one thing today, um, Oracle is developing a platform as a service. It's, it's similar, I guess, it's an, it's an idea, just like our maximum availability architecture uh, that we've talked about in the past. So what we're trying to do is increase your agility, decrease your risk, and lower your costs. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you more about it in the future. Thank you. Nice job.